All right, so we're here with Joe Montana at the Certainty booth. You are the West Regional guy? That's right, yep. Western Region Manager. I'm with Certainty, the um, Solstice Shingle. This is a, a new product, actually kind of a, an advanced product. What we've done different is had a much more robust cell put into this, as well as a lot of the electronics to make sure it's very reliable, but at the same time, beautiful product. We are now integrated into Aurora, which is the main design and proposal um, tool used by installers. You will have the complete bill of material, what kind of flashings are going with it, etc. It literally just integrates with a regular shingle. You don't have to order a special shingle or anything like that. Absolutely right. Yeah, so the process makes sense to do it with a, a new roof or a re-roof, but you just, as long as you have the, the, the specified underlayment, in this case, Grace, we just actually acquired GCP, a great product for the underlayment of that. Um, and then from there, it, it goes right on the roof. So this is this is an ice and water shield underlayment, right? That's right. That's so right. it has to be on the entire system at that point. Uh, and wherever the solar is, you don't have to do the whole the whole house that way, but certainly wherever the sol the system is. Yep. That's pretty cool. Are there issues with heat or any of that kind of stuff? No, we've actually done like even in the earlier iteration of this initial trials in Arizona, 120 degree heat. It's just like when you actually go up there and use like an infrared on it. The surrounding shingles are hotter than the solar panels. Production levels of this are going to be coming out in July, so July of 2023. Awesome! This is ex this is excellent. Excited to see it. We are here at the Hover booth. You guys have an amazing booth this year. It looks really cool. And uh, we're with Jacqueline Martin of Hover. She's going to introduce some contractors here that are using Hover to scale their businesses. With Hover, we've been able to get every single one of our staff that goes out into the field to do the same type of walk around every single time on a home, and then be able to bring that back do a takeoff, do an estimate, and then turn around and give a great visualization and customer experience uh, to close the deal. For us, I mean, the biggest thing with Hover is creating consistency of experience for our customers. Everything is about making sure that they get the most impact from the time that we spend with them in the home. It reduces safety risk for our people. It allows us to have less measurement errors. And then beyond that, we consistently measure every roof, as Chad mentioned a moment ago. We measure every roof the same, regardless of location and which representative is out there. Um, we've also carried it through into direct ordering via some of our key distribution partners so we've been able to actually return less product and, and, and reduce over ordering while also being able to make sure that we provide a quicker turnaround for our people. So it's, it's been a great product for us and we're continuing to lean into more and more of what they have to offer. Back here at the uh, IKO booth here with Jack and Diana which this was way more funnier the first time. <laughs> IKO you guys are doing some cool stuff right? We totally are. I think that you know if you look around this busy show one of the trends that you're going to see is a focus and a and really a desire for performance roofing products. And we are proud to offer what, what we definitely believe is the best performance products on the market. And uh, that is what we have right here, our Dynasty uh, impact resistant, algae resistant, wind resistant uh, performance shingle, along with the hip and ridge that yep. uh, hip and ridge capping shingle that goes along with it as well. Too, I like how it's got this like little ridge right here. I haven't seen one like that before. That's right. So this is a low profile ridge cap. We have a, uh, a what we call ultra HP, which is high profile as well. This one is low profile. We doubled it up. So really, I mean, we want to give our contractors also and, and homeowners, frankly options across the board. Let's talk about the shingle. The first thing that you're going to notice with our shingles, if you really move from the bottom to the top, is the exposure. Ico's shingles are bigger than most of our competitors. We offer a 5 and 7 eighths inch exposure. That's compared to 5 and 5 eighths generally with the, with the others. So what that means is when you get three bundles of Ico's, of Ico's shingles, it's going to be 60 shingles, and that's going to be a true 100 square feet. We call it our true square advantage. They're advantage size shingles, right? As opposed to, you know, a lot of the other guys, you're going to get 98 and change. The armor zone is really just for the installers. This is the armor zone here. Um, and it really is just to help with wind uplift and pull through. So um, what is this made out of? Like a synthetic tape. It's a woven band, really. It's a woven band and it's it's here to give, right, so we have this nail zone, inch and a quarter nail zone, which makes it easier to hit, right, because the old traditional shingles really have just the one line that was hard to hit. When you're running across the roof at a million miles an hour, you're going to want a nice little nail zone. So you hit anywhere within the within this nail zone, you'll get reinforced with the woven band here on the back and, uh, and you'll be in business. Well, we'll have to do some testing with it and see. Uh, yeah, let's see how do it. I mean, that's the, that's the hard part. I mean, I don't know if you've been working out recently, but <laughs> I'm dying to see if you can pull this thing off a board. That's the that's the challenge. Let's, let's do it. it. Let's we try it. Out. It. Five will be good. Five will be good, yeah. Let's do five. Let's do one more. Wind comes up. Yep. That's how wind goes. You got it. I don't think I got it. 
There we go. I am the wind. You are the wind. So yeah, you are a little bit more than a tornado, I think, with that. Uh, that with pretty, that. that what do you What do you think? I think it's. I mean, it held up really well, and you can tell like this is still in here, and it's not coming out. Yeah. That's that's pretty impressive. High definition colors, larger exposure, bigger than other shingles, and um, and the and the wide nailing zone, and uh, and the, and of course the really effective fast lock sealant here at the bottom. Line up at your local uh, at your local supplier to get your hands. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it, yeah, Jack. Of course. We're at the Stinger booth here, right at the entrance of IRE, and you got this giant scorpion. Come on, this is cool. Tell us about this booth, man. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're super excited to be here. IRE is such an important show for us. This year, we decided to do something that's a little bit different. The way that we have it positioned, it's, it's ready to strike. It's there to protect the roof, just like our products are moisture defense systems. So. I trust the scorpion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We have this Yen 100B that shoots 200 caps and nails um, at a time every time you load it and we have the, the the ammunition is right there so like you can see comes 2,000 inside the box and uh, it will help you a lot once you have uh, the gun loaded you put the caps on one side the nails on the other side the hose and let's do it This tool is meant to work, uh, shoot five nails per second. We don't want to go that fast, but I mean, it will save you a lot of time and a lot of cleanup around the, the house. Let's see how fast it'll go. Uh, they are one inch ring shank nails. The holding power on those will be stronger than the right. regular nails. So that's ring shank. Mm -hmm. It also does staples? Yes, we do. So the same deal with the stapler, CS150V, and uh, you put the caps on one side, the staples on the other side. It shoots different sizes, seven, eight, one inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half. So the same, the same concept. I'm a roofer. <laughs> we are here with Jose Geraldo at Zeitview, which used to be drone base. We actually had two exciting announcements today, both on our AI capabilities within our inspection platform to detect hail anomalies for residential and commercial anomalies, which we oversee over 80 different anomalies in a commercial roof. In addition to that, we also launched our thermal capabilities within the platform. What you're seeing here is our Insights platform. It's a 2D orthomosaic overlaid on a satellite view. The beauty about this is whether you fly yourself or you're gonna use our network to fly, as soon as that imagery is captured, the program's gonna automatically go through and detect potential areas where there are hail anomalies. So these two, for example, are gonna be these areas. You can click on an image, zoom into it. Every single square is a potential hail anomaly. And you can actually filter with the confidence score. So you're less confidence, you're gonna see more hits. More confidence, you're gonna see less. As soon as you click into one of these, you're gonna confirm or deny that. Is this what it is or not? You can apply a severity if needed and provide some notes on that. So we're gonna categorize everything for you, show you where that is with high resolution imagery. We are barely 10 feet off the roof. So you can export all this into a PDF report. You can share this with anybody internal to your organization or with a homeowner, whatever you really need to do. It's a very interactive platform for the hail piece, for the insurance piece on, on contractors. We support uh, a few drones. If you have a 20 megapixel drone, you'll be able to use our application that automates that flight capture piece, but you can fly manually as well because we, you know, we like to give you the option use our uploader and get everything here into our insights platform. Now you had something else you were telling me too with flat roofs and uh, moisture. That we do a lot in commercial roofs as well, a lot of flat roofs. And today we do provide our customers with a thermal report. One of the most expensive things on a property, on a building is the roof. With our pilot network, again, whether you wanna fly it or we fly it, we'll get everything uploaded here. And this is an orthomosaic, a thermal orthomosaic with a contrast tuner over here where you can apply the contrast to better gauge where there's potential moisture. So our internal team will go in into a specific image which you can turn and change the color palettes right over here. 
and try to find, see if there's an anomaly. An anomaly, again, is there moisture on this image? And we did find one here. So you can click into that. You'll see, you're gonna see an anomaly type right over there, a hazard and a recommendation, right? For somebody to at least know if this is a million square foot roof and you didn't have this, you would have to go to multiple places, take core samples, all those things. This is at least, as you can see here in the map, pinpointing where you should focus your efforts in a large commercial roof. And it digitizes all of that data for you. For thermal capabilities, you know, you've got your, your Mavic Enterprise, which you, has a thermal sensor, or you can use an XT2 sensor, a FLIR XT2 sensor. That's awesome. It's day two of the IRE, and right now we're over here at the uh, SRS para Latinos group here. Francisco Serrano Pancho, what's up, bro? What's up? We are going to start with the fun fundamentals, with the foundations. I am seeing a big opportunity in marketing. A lot of the companies right now is that they are focusing on sales. Go all in on, on sales, hire 100 sales rep, send them out, out there, but they are forgetting about the marketing. And, right. and they are other type of business model that companies can implement and it's not everything sales. So I'm gonna focus in about like differentiating both of the both of the areas in, in the Latino business and in general, you know? So right now that we launch the podcast, they are like, hey, we want like we want more, you know, because they don't have any like the the only one and first podcast for the Latino community, man. I love it though, bro. Good job, man. Yeah. Make sure you go check them out. What's John Dice, Ameri um, Roofers Going Digital TV is a YouTube channel and the playlist is Conversando con Líderes. We love only it. have leaders there. <laughs> only leaders. Go check it out, guys. With Julissa Chavez, she's from uh, SRS, and you guys, you're the one that's running. Like you're the one in charge here, right? Yeah. That's awesome. Very grateful. It's been a beautiful journey for us. This is uh, year three. Okay. Um, year two of doing the educational lounge at the Roofing Expo. So a very big part of our program is being able to provide education in Spanish. So we keep diversifying. So we have topics related to marketing, legal, sales, product demos, continuing to just expand the program and the agenda that we can bring to the IRE. 2019, we had a focus group. And they were like, how can we be a better company for Latinos in the industry? So I said, we need a leader that can advocate for Latino employees and for our Latino contractors in that market segment. January 2020, they created the position and we've been rocking and rolling since then. We are at the GAF booth, the largest shingle manufacturer of the world. This is the GAF roof cycle and this is our entry into recycling shingles from tear off. So in the U.S., about 13 million tons of shingles get torn off annually, and only about 1 million of those shingles are actually used in paving in other areas. So the remaining 12 million is put into landfills. It starts with the tear-off. We divert the material from the contractor through a landfill or through a recycler. We bring it to our facility. We use our proprietary process and start separating and grinding the shingles down to its components. So the first component is what I have in my hand here, which is a briquette. I, said, I thought that was like some charcoal. You thought it was charcoal. Some people yeah. think it's chocolate too, but you don't want to eat this kind of chocolate. <laughs> so uh, basically what this is is asphalt and some uh, solid materials that come out of the process. We also go over to the other process where we separate out the granules. Okay. Those granules are important too because we want to take that and put that back into a new shingle as well. Um, so the uh, asphalt, the reclaimed asphalt, is put into a, a stream with the virgin asphalt. They're combined together and we make the new shingle. Those granules are actually put in the headlock of the shingle as well. Timberline Solar, it's the first nailable solar shingle on the market. It allows roofers to get into the solar industry. It's purpose built for the roofing community so that they can easily and seamlessly introduce this into their, into their business with their existing workforce and with their existing tools and trucks. So just like a normal shingle, you have a headlap. We have a nailing zone, one of the largest in the industry uh, for both asphalt and solar. It's simple, it's easy, it's intuitive. It's about 40, 45 watts. Here's our wide version. We have four sets of guide rollers. This allows you for those short to medium length runs it truly allows you to track real nice and straight to give a high quality bend. This is our narrow version. It shows that radius that this tool allows to do. I'm going to demonstrate this, this wide here. So what you do, you just roll right back and forth as you slowly gradually increase the bend pressure. This allows you to give a nice high quality bend um, for any of those details you're making. Now as you can see here, we have a tapered roller that allows you when you get to your final bend at 90 degrees there not to scratch any of that material. 
The nice thing about this new line we're offering, it's a modular system. So you can take those single benders and you can add our connector and turn it into a two station bender. So this allows you a little bit more leverage and you get the same high quality bend as our single benders. We offer thickness adjustment on all of our benders in this new line. This is our new um, offset aluminum snips. This tool allows you to always stay above the material and kind of protect your hands. And so when you're doing long span cuts, um, you're never gonna be damaging those knuckles. Maneuverability, you can go into that material and you're able to spin it right on its axis and you can work your way back. Because it's variable speed, I can very slowly actuate it or I can very quickly actuate it. We wanna provide value to those customers by allowing them to do stuff like this with our cutter where you can quickly cut through both cleats as well as the panel. Converting any driller driver to a cutting tool that can make a nice, crisp, finished edge on two sides. So now I see that fastener. I can use either the quarter or the 5 16 side to clear that material out. Switch between sizes to make sure I have the correct size for that fastener. And in the event that that fastener or slug of material plugs the driver, I can push it out with the drive side. We're off here at the Beacon booth. We're trying something new, of course, as a fellow Mexicano, Latino. So the whole thing is we are starting off with our Abos en Español. So we are gonna be translating our Beacon Pro Plus into Spanish. So right now we have a slow rollout with it. So stay tuned with much more to come. We do have our Beacon Pro Plus. So if you don't know anything about Beacon Pro Plus, our online platform, you can order anything and everything online with residential commercial stuff. They have history. We have a rebate tracker. We have hail maps. So anything to get your business going, we could be your one-stop shop for that. So the Tri-Build booth, it is our private um, labeled products. So any products that you need, we also have an, say an affordable pricing for those. Something else going on here though. There's a massive line of people. You want to know what this is all about? That are, this line <laughs> is just for Beacon. Yep. End up here in front of our hat giveaway. So from Wild Bills, everybody's going to get a custom steamed cowboy hat from Beacon. Guys, Wild Bills just hooked us up with a hat. Hey, all right. <laughs> Hey kids, it's Wild Bill. Come to Dallas, Texas and have a great time. If you can't, we travel anywhere in the world. Just give me a call. We'll come see you. This is the Atlas truck that, uh, you know, this is it. They're going to give this thing away in just about probably 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Congratulations, it's heading back to Colorado. Hey, let's give a big round of applause to all of our awesome contractors that participated this year. The Malarkey booth with my good friend, Tom Fisher, man. Good to see you, John. Always a pleasure to see you. Malarkey is pioneering a better way, right? That's what it means to us, the people that work there, right? So we want to find a way to offer contractors and homeowners a shingle that not only lasts longer, but has sustainable benefits that have benefits for everyone. We're the first shingle manufacturer to put RFID chips on our shingles, which is gonna have some really cool applications for um, our field team. Like if there's ever a claim, we can actually know from the ground, hey, this is 30 square of midnight black manufactured on this day. We can look back in our records and we can see maybe so, what happened so back then, on. right? You said there's an RFID chip inside of the shingle. There is a certain number of chips per square which would allow us to know very easily what is on a roof, right? Um, it's also used for um, distribution companies, guys that want to control their inventory, their smart buildings. It's like there's places you can check out with RFID technology. So it's good for controlling inventory. It's good for knowing what's on a truck. Um, and I think there's a lot of exciting applications for the future for contractors as we develop this technology further. So I, I can't talk a whole lot about it right now, but. But it's just another first, um, and we're really proud to, to have done it. I'm really supportive of you guys, and I think that this is one of the coolest things in the industry. If you guys are roofers, keep an eye on Malarkey. If you're out east, really keep an eye on Malarkey because you're going to have an opportunity to get a piece of this. So, hey, man, thank you so much. Good to see you Always that. a pleasure to be my boy. Yes, so I'll talk Love to you soon. Hat. Hey, Beacon, come on. <laughs>